Bruce McGregor, the deputy CEO of the TTC, has been named acting CEO of the transit agency. His new role will go into effect this Friday, kicking off a lengthy process to find an interim CEO and ultimately a permanent CEO. We're having the acting coming in to cover the gap, and then we will have the interim, um, and that person will be announced shortly, and then that person may or may not be the permanent CEO. But Jamal Myers, chair of the TTC board, says the search committee will also be considering international options for the permanent role, and that could take six months. As for McGregor, he joined the TTC last October, and Meyer says he's the right choice for this temporary position. Prior to joining TTC, Bruce was the chief administrative officer of the region of York for 16 years. Uh, Bruce is a consummate professional. He is well respected within the organization and at the board. TTC Riders, a grassroots organization advocating for transit users, hopes the permanent CEO will be someone who puts riders first. So that means someone who's going to advance bus lanes, who's going to increase service, fix reliability on the TTC. And just be honest, transparent, and accountable about what is happening at the TTC. Outgoing CEO Rick Leary is stepping down after nearly seven years in the role. He's faced a number of issues in his time, including the pandemic, the derailment of a Line 3 Scarborough RT train, and last year, the TTC's board launched an investigation into workplace misconduct allegations involving Leary. Myers would not comment on any findings. I can't confirm or deny any investigation. It would be completely inappropriate to do that. These matters are strictly confidential. Leary maintains the choice to resign was his. He's also highlighted the major funding needed to upgrade TTC infrastructure, particularly of Line 2, which is expected to be the biggest challenge for the new CEO. The TTC CEO is the city's highest paid public servant. Leary had an annual salary over half a million dollars. At City Hall, Michelle Mackey, City News.